just called Rosario. I'll stay with you until she comes down. I'm sorry for the hassle. No worries. We can't take our chances with the Holy Office. Um... Polon? Thanks for everything today. I had a very nice time. Glad to hear that. I had fun hanging out with you too. Rosario, thank... Tell me, how did you learn about Kent Korihisa? I know you've been snooping around looking for him. Just what are you to Kent? I said tell me! Answer me! What will you do with that knowledge? And what about you? How do you know his name? Of course I know his name. I'm his little sister. Huh? Out of the way! <sighs> Don't move! Put your hands up or we'll sh- You won't. What? Are you with the Holy Office 513? I am. This man's a guest of mine. State your business. I have a message from Felino Arcana. It is now your turn to lend us a hand. The coordinates lead here. I'll look around. There you are! Of course I know his name. I'm his little sister. <laughs> Let her go! You okay, Momo? Y yes Juno, are you really Cicada's sister? That has nothing to do with you. We're investigating the guy. Come on, tell me. Tell you? The one who took the quests from me? The one who wrecked my plans? Why? 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 Oh, if only you didn't exist. You ruined everything. Unforgivable. I can't stomach the sight of you! Everyone's free to join the quests. That's what Ken Korihisa wants! Don't you dare speak his name, you psychotic stalker! Kent's mine! Stay away from him. I'm going to meet him no matter what! I want to save the world with him! And you think you're qualified to do that? Of course! All right, then. Prove it. Prove it? This is...
Solve this. If you make it to the final place, you'll have my approval. I might even tell you Kent's secret. <laughs> secret? What do you... This is where, on July 2nd, 1999, Kent treated the wound I got when I tripped over. She sure loves hyping up her bro, huh? The date's gone down again. This might be over soon. Now, for the next code... I found it. It's on that wall. Mm. <laughs> no. That's... Hey, you okay? I just saw a vision. So many people died. Do we have another quest? Cicada posted a new quest! Right on cue. <laughs> Juno showed up too. Whoa! Being a pain in the ass. I can't see any other posters. What? 4chan went down? Ah, cheat! Did Juno do that? Yeah, she overloaded the server with all her posts. It's sabotage. That woman. Hey, you check 4chan? I was there when it went offline. Let's use some other site. We can't. All the hacker hangouts are down. What? Does this mean we gotta solve it by ourselves? In the worst case scenario, yeah. I'll look for a way to get in touch with other hackers. Can I leave Juno's code to you? We're gonna try to solve Cicadas. The quest is the highest priority, isn't it? We should work on it together. But we can't ignore Juno's code either. It could lead us to Kent Korihisa. We should work on this too. But... Please help me, Rosario. They can handle the quest without us. Very well. I'll help you as best as I can. You got the gadget, Momo? Yes, right here. Good luck, Polon. You too, Momo. Down. Even the social media sites that aren't for hackers are gone. The info exchanges on the dark web are offline, too. <sighs> She's so annoying. Polly, look! The comments on this video! Hackers are talking! 
Whoa, nice! Wait, it's down already? And I just found him! Colonel Juno is a meanie! Look at this. The source code? Yeah. They're leaving comments in the source code of a new site. Someone here found all three prime numbers. I'll try him out. Four oh four error. <sighs> what does that error mean again? It means that a page with that address doesn't exist. I guess we were wrong. Yeah, the other hackers are already looking for more prime numbers. I'm gonna investigate the page a little more. Huh? But it's the wrong place! I feel like there's more to it than we can see. So... Hold on, you might be onto something. This page was made a year ago. Uh-huh? Wait, what? Bad news! You should close that page right now! Huh? Why? A bunch of people are saying that the page made them feel nauseous and made their children collapse! Wait, what? Something's making the hackers queasy? Huh? No, it's just happening to kids. Cross, does the page have any sound? Sound? Let me check. Found something. It's an audio file. Thanks. What the hell? Nothing? That's some scary shit! No, it's not nothing. We just can't hear it. Huh? What do you mean? You remember those toys from a while back? The ones with audio comms? The little remote-controlled cars. I got someone to buy one for me when I was a kid, but I started feeling like crap as soon as I played with it. I puked my guts out. I thought it was just cold, but my friends said the same thing happened to them. Ooh. Were the toys cursed? No, there was a problem with the audio comm frequency. The input data was supposed to be sent using inaudible frequencies, but by some mistake, they used a frequency that kids could hear. So many kids were affected that the toys eventually got recalled. <laughs> I even returned mine and got a different toy. How come only kids could hear it? Kids have a wider audible range than adults. Their ears can pick up more frequencies. Oh, that makes sense. I visualized the waveform of the sound file. And yeah, something's definitely there. Just two sounds, huh? It could be binary. Can you convert it? Give me a sec. One zero 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 one zero one one zero zero. Converting it to ASCII code gives you EGG. Egg. Whoa! That's awesome! We got our next hint! Why egg, though? No idea. 
when's Cicada gonna quit it with his goddamn coat? Hey, you said this page was made a year ago. Are there any signs it was updated after that? Anything he added later would be pretty sus, right? It was made a year ago and hasn't been touched since. Okay... There was a quest on New Year's Eve last year, too. It's pretty crazy to think he made this page while that was happening, huh? That was the pool hack, wasn't it? Yep, the one where some BMI virus took control over people's visions. The Scenery Intercept quest. Shit left a bad taste in my mouth. There is even a countdown until the suicides. <sighs> is this what the egg meant? What, you found something? Look. You are currently watching live footage from our drone. According to witnesses, people suddenly started gathering at the helipad on Shinjuku's egg tower about half an hour ago. The tower's integrity was called into question after the sad morning, so it was designated off-limits to the public in case it collapsed. As such, an extremely dangerous situation could be unfolding. More than 50 people have gathered now. Who are they? And what do they want? There's a countdown on the other building! It's just like the pool hack! It's gotta be the quest! Did Cicada plan this event a whole year ago? Hackers are saying that those people's BMI are offline. They're not on the scene, so it's not like they've tried infrared or close-range radio yet. But... Whoa, well, hold on! You're saying we have to wire up and install the vaccine into everyone individually? That depends on what we find out, but it's possible. even have the time to think about this. I'm heading to the tower. I'll see what's what when I get there. The coordinates are in there? You should be able to see the path if you use the BMI sensors. Let's just keep moving forward. I don't know where we'll end up, but we don't have time to be standing still.
checking the foreign news, and it looks like the only pool hack going on is the egg tower one. There's gotta be other ways this pool hack's different from the last one. We have to be thorough as we work. And we should watch out for Juno, too. I'll use the neighboring building to try and analyze the situation at the helipad. I'll help you guys! Alright, then I'll climb the egg tower. Let's see... What are you doing here? What about my code? Where's the girl? I thought she meant something to you. Of course she does. But I know I can depend on her too. That's why I trusted her with getting your code. You truly are the worst. It's like you enjoy being a thorn in my side. I don't want to hear that from you. You're the one who keeps getting in our way. You made an enemy of every hacker in the world. But I can't say I expected you to be wasting time here. If you're here to complete the quest, shouldn't you go to the helipad? You should know by now that quests are never that simple. I will stay here and eliminate my enemies until I'm certain that victory is mine. Why not run back to your girl's side? If you leave now, I won't kill you. Are you gonna run me over with a train if I stay? A train? I'm asking if you're gonna teleport me to some train tracks. What do you know? I'm just talking about something from a past that didn't happen. Lamentabile. Plaintively. Hold on, you good? <sighs> Juno got me! She threw me into a shark tank! What? The Egg Tower has an aquarium? No, no, she, she sent me somewhere else. It says you're in Shinagawa. Wait, really? So she really is a phantom. She actually can disappear and reappear. Please tell me the details. If I had the details, I wouldn't be soaking wet in Shinagawa. But without any specifics, we can't analyze Juno's behavior or prepare any countermeasures. You weren't recording your vision? I didn't think of that. I've had my eye on Juno for a while. 
and I have some theories of my own. If I can analyze the exact moments she uses her phantom skills, I should be able to help you. Gotcha. I'll get you the footage next time, so help me beat Juno then. Of course. You can count on me. Gotta... breathe. You want to see Juno doing her phantom thing? Excuse me? I can send you a clip, so analyze it for a way to stop her. You're going to expose her secret? That's so cool! I'll gladly help! Heck, I'm so excited my hands are shaking! I'm counting on you, Miss Lid. And where's the girl? I thought she meant something to you. Of course she does. But I know I can depend on her too. That's why I trusted her with getting your code. I'm asking if you're gonna teleport me to some train tracks. What do you know? I'm just talking about something from the past that didn't happen. Lamentabile. Plaintively. What?! is amazing! The way she disappears is practically teleportation! If she touches you, she can instantly send you somewhere else! She can do it to other people too? That makes it even more interesting! I'll be waiting on your analysis. I need a strategy too. It's the Cyberforce dolls! Be careful. There's more rubble here. Momo, look over there. A door? We're at the coordinates. So the place is past the store. It looks like we need a password, though. 12... 23... <gasps> it worked!
What is that? Let's take a look. <laughs> Kent Korihisa? Uh, how? It's obviously a fake. That woman is trying to trick us. And I'll prove it! So, you made it all the way here. Juno! What is going on here? Why is Kent Korihisa? As you can see, he's dead. <laughs> Congratulations! Now you know his secret! That can't be true! If he's dead, why are the quests still happening? Who is Sakita? <laughs> Did you kill him? How dare you suggest such a thing! As if I'd kill my beloved! How did he die then? Can you prove that this corpse is really him? There was an accident. He was in a cold sleep machine for a long time, resting. He said, in order to circumvent the end, he needed his brain to stay young. He was so beautiful that I made a habit of simply watching him sleep. If those days were waking dreams, then, February 6, 2036, was the day I woke up. On the sad morning? He came out of cold sleep shortly before that, and then... He was reduced to splattered bits of flesh. <laughs> he was caught in the SA-4D attack. By the time I found him, he was already dead. No! I moved the rubble off of my brother and gathered him as thoroughly as I could. His hair, his teeth, his nails and flesh and blood. Oh, that's right. I used a sponge to soak up the fluid and wrung it out into a bucket. He was in pieces, but he was just as adorable. I put him back together, taking my time and oh, enjoying every second of it. You can't imagine how I felt when I finally put him into the coffin, whole again. <laughs> Look at him. I reassembled him perfectly, didn't I? No one would think he'd been crushed by so much rubble. Oh, dear brother, you're as beautiful as ever. Still the Kent I've loved for as long as I can recall, and no different from when I first wanted you. You understand now, don't you? You can't have him, no matter what you do. <laughs> don't come anywhere near my brother ever again! And don't you dare investigate him any further! Leave this place! Be gone! Hold on, Takaoka. You were here after all. Perfect timing! I was gathering info about the pool hack. People up there are gonna jump off soon, so let's work together and get this done. We can't. We're not here for the quest. Where's Momo Aizaki? Not with me. I can see that. I'm asking you where she is. Didn't you get her contact info? 
She's offline. I can't call her. Hey, where is she? Hold on. Why are you being so cold? What's wrong with you? Hey, don't you two think there's something up with her? We can't chat right now. Just answer our questions. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Hey, if you see any cops, turn and run. Huh? The TMPD are working with the Holy Office. Some of its departments are trying to capture the little lady. What about the CCO? Don't trust them either. <sighs> Put your hands where I can see them. Try anything funny and we'll arrest you. How about no? Show me your hands! Hold on, Takaoka! Get a hold of yourself! You know what kind of fucked up people the Holy Office 513 are, don't you? As long as it's legal, it's okay, is that it? <laughs> The CCO? Your job is to contact Momo Aizaki, isn't it? I wasn't informed you'd be here. She was offline, so we came to talk to Pola and Takaoka. If you found Takaoka, you should have reported it immediately. Interrogating him is our responsibility. <sighs> Tell me the whereabouts of Momo Aizaki. And if I say no? Hmm? No way! Davide, yes way? <laughs> Our Davide fell to the pall of death once before, but by God's gracious will, he has undergone miraculous anastasis. Miraculous? D did a sacrament do this? Now, Davide, let us fulfill our mission and ask him for Lucia's whereabouts. Ah, well. What a joy it is to see you. Just 
asking for his assistance to locate Momo Aizaki, right? Why are you using force? He's not a criminal. He's not even a suspect. We've been granted permission to find the girl using any means we choose. You are aware of that, are you not? Even so! This is a joint operation. Since the highest authorities of the TMPD have consented, I believe it'd be best that you follow orders. You don't want to break the rules, do you? Hey! Stop him! That's your job, isn't it? Gombi, don't. We can't stop this. I'm sorry, Takaoka. Here, wipe your tears. An officer's job is to keep people smiling, you know. I'd be really happy if you could smile for me. Not uh, telling. Officer's job to protect smiles. They've got a sparkle like idols do. Your methods aren't righteous at all. I'd rather quit the police than work with the holy office. You ignored my warning. How foolish. Bastard! Never thinks of the consequences, does she? Guess we've got no choice but to follow suit. Iroha, let's help Bombi. Yeah. Escape me, 
Attention, douchebags! Yeah, you, the cross-wielding zombie and his handler! I'm about to get away! Better come after me! After... him... At once. Neither infrared nor close-range radio works, huh? I wanted to hack into their BMI and get the details on this pool hack, but I didn't think there was no way to connect to them remotely. So, without a wired connection, you can't determine the virus and stuff? Yeah. I'm guessing the virus switches the BMI to offline mode when it's infected. Probably just to make the quest more difficult. Yeesh! That cicada is a real piece of work! I guess I'll stick to it. See what else I can find. Okay, and I'll help. Hmm? You found something? Caught some light. This is... Li-Fi. I think I've heard of that somewhere. It's a comms method that uses LED lights. It doesn't even need to be bright enough for humans to see, though. I wouldn't have noticed it without BMI. So those people aren't completely offline. But Li-Fi is short range and it can't go through walls. We still need to go to the helipad if we want to do any hacking. Couldn't you connect through a drone? That's not a bad idea. But this quest would be too easy if all you needed to beat it was a drone. The Li-Fi's gotta be open for some special reason. Special... a special one. <sighs> By the way, this was the first time there were two cicadas, right? Cicadas? I'm talking about Cicada 3301's post. You know how there's usually a picture of a cicada? There were two cicadas this time. Wait. Does that mean there's a collaborator in this quest? What? Someone using Li-Fi to control those people would explain why the Li-Fi's open. It's not a virus this time. So, he's gonna make them commit suicide manually? But then, what's the point of the countdown? Same reason he killed the Wi-Fi. To make the quest more difficult. These people are going to commit suicide whether you act or not. So how are you going to handle that my challenge this time? Was it really him? Rosario, let's go help with the quest. If we meet with Cicada, we should learn the truth about his death. You're right. Let's go. This is... There you are, Lucia. <laughs> are you... Ronin Del Cielo, Agent of 513. 
He's dangerous. You know him? I've heard a lot of rumors. I don't know if he's on Davide's level, or even stronger, but he's... A really powerful agent. Huh? Don't worry, this won't even be a fight. I won't waste time. I'll beat... You can't hope to beat me. Mist? Lucia. I'm not going to tell you a thing! <laughs> you can't defeat me. They made it. 